Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again. So today is the day 3 of herb series. In previous video we have learned how we can draw thyme and coriander and we have also learned parsley and a rosemary. So we have completed 4 uh, herbs. Now we are going to learn 2 more. So in today's video I am going to show you mint and dill. So let's start with the mint first. So I am going to start with the mint drawing first. So create a string, you can create your own composition, you don't have to copy mine and start creating sections to create leaves. So I'm creating one bigger section here in the top and I'm trying to create three to four leaves here in a different different direction to get different perspective. So we have one middle string and we need to cover middle string as well with the help of leaf so i'm keeping my leaves in a different different direction and angle so something like this you can draw you can keep your leaves smooth first as a guideline and then you can add serration also to make it more towards mint now this is my first group you can create few more leaves towards downward direction so basically you need to create leaves in every direction you can keep leaves smaller and bigger you can also do some overlapping as well once done with the basic guideline you can add serration around the edges we don't need very deep serration but light serration is fine So we can directly do this with the help of pen. So I am tracing everything with the help of pen. Also I am adding little bit of serration around the edges. So you can do this step with normal ball pen also or you can use needle pen like mine. I am using size 08 mm needle pen. So trace everything and add serration and then we are going to do some more extra shading and detailing into it to finish this particular mint drawing. Now we are done with the tracing part. Now you can add middle line around each and every leaf. You don't have to create a straight line. Curve line is fine because with the help of curve line you can get different perspective of leaves as well. And then you can create sub veins like this. So these kind of detailing you can do. You can create lines then you can create sub lines and also you can do extra shading and detailing. So with the help of very soft hand you can create more darker shade around your leaf. So you can do it for all the leaves. If you want you can do it for few leaves here and there but all these steps are not important or mandatory to do we are doing it so that we can beautify our drawing but it is not necessary if you are only interested in painting you can just draw a basic guideline and paint it with the help of watercolor so let me quickly do this shading with the help of hatching process so hatching means creating parallel line side by side the more closer line the darker shade you will get so i'm done with the drawing now we can start with the painting i'm using this size 6 round brush and we're going to do the similar kind of stuff what we did for the uh, drawing so I, again i'm creating a basic guideline for myself with the help of pencil and i'm keeping uh, this similar kind of stuff you don't have to keep similar but i'm doing it almost similar kind of thing what we did for the drawing and then just rub the unwanted pencil mark i can still see my drawing structure and i'm going to start with the painting so i'm using this very light shade of sap green color and i'm trying to do the same kind of leaf shape that we have created with the help of pencil. So I'm just filling that area with the help of sap green color. Uh, if you push your brush and move your brush towards that particular direction, you can do this step easily or else take your time and fill the area slowly and gradually. And once done with the 
sap green color you can use dark green and start adding serration into it so i'm adding serration around the edges now color combination is totally up to you you can use very light shade of yellow color as well to start with and then you can do all these detailing with the help of green color that is also you can do but i'm using sap green and deep green to start with now let's repeat the same thing what we did for the first group so again you can start with the lighter shade of green and then you can add serration with the darker shade i want to keep the mint leaves little on the darker side so i'm also adding bit of blue color and little bit of pink is also fine you can use only blue color but i think it's better to mix little bit of green into the blue so that you will get a blue green kind of shade but again as i said you can try different color combination to make it but i'm trying to make it little on the darker side so we are almost done with our leaves we have one overlapping of leaf here for this particular overlapping i we need to keep one leaf little darker than another so that we can see the overlapping very clearly and then you can create middle string with the help of green color now my leaf area is still wet so i am adding little hint of pink here and there uh, don't overdo this particular step i need a bit of pink shade in my leaves so that's why i'm adding little bit of pink when my sheet is still wet otherwise don't do it because this may cause hard edges into your leaf area and let it dry for some time meanwhile we can start with the dill drawing dill drawing is quite simple so i am directly using pen to draw this i'm not using pencil although if you are not comfortable doing it directly with the help of pen you can start with the pencil first now create a tree branch kind of structure so basically i am creating a tree kind of structure itself but in a fine fine branches and the stems in it so create a main stem and then divide this into sub branches and then each sub branch has multiple sub branches into it so something like this you can do so basically i am creating one stem then i am creating multiple sub branches then each sub branch has multiple sub branches into it and then you can create fine fine string at the tip of each branch that you have created so make it bushier if you want to or you can keep it simple as well so basically i'm repeating the same thing nothing fancy in this particular drawing i think this one is the simplest one to draw and paint as well so do it until you are satisfied with your drawing and uh, or else you can keep your composition simple as well so i think this much is enough now we are done with the dill drawing this much is enough and we can jump back into the main painting so the only thing is left is creating multiple veins and sub veins with the help of darker shade so i am creating all these fine fine veins and sub veins for all the leaves that we have using very fine brush so my brush is size 0 from the miniature set now we are done with the mint painting as well now we can start with the dill painting uh, dill painting and drawing both are very simple so i'm using size 0 fine brush from the miniature set and this fine brush is important for this particular drawing because we are creating very fine fine branches and sub branches you can do this with the help of bigger brush as well but to make sure you have enough control over your brush so you can use tip of your brush without pushing your brush you can create all these things but sometimes it is difficult to control your brush and you might end up creating very thick 
branches which is not needed when it comes to the div so try to use fine brush and start creating all the branches sub branches like we did in the drawing so basically i'm repeating exactly same thing what we did with the help of pen this time i'm using this fine brush to create all these branches and sub branches you can keep the main branch little thicker but make sure you are ending all the branches and sub branches having very fine fine structure into it you can also do some criss cross between these branches and you can use different shades of green so start with the lighter shade of green and then use darker shade of green to do some overlapping between these branches and basically we are repeating the same thing creating different branches and sub branches having different shades of green in it i think this is the simplest one to draw and paint so we are almost done with today's video we have learned how we can draw mint how we can paint mint how we can draw dill how we can paint dill and in the previous video i have covered many different herbs so you can get a link uh, for those video into my description section so hope you have liked today's video as well hope this video is helpful for you guys please do let me know if you have any kind of feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and watching my videos always see you guys in the next video